Say hey, Huey. Hey. Hey everyone, welcome back. In this look, I went for cool tones on the eyes and a dark lip. If you want to know how I got this look, then please keep on watching. Most of the shadows I use are from this BH palette. I use this cool tone brown to fill in my brows today. For no particular reason, just because the palette was in front of me and I love how they turned out. This brush also works wonders. It's the Zoeva 322 Brow Line Brush. It creates super precise lines for a beautifully, beautifully sculpted brow. <laughs> Moving on to the eyes, I'm priming my lids with Mac Soft Ochre Paint Pop as always. <laughs> starting to create a V on the outer portion of the eye. This doesn't have to be super neat because we are going to blend this out anyway. This is just going to be a guide for where we don't want the shadows to go. We're adding a darker colour right in the crease and the outer V, this time with a pencil brush, and then blend that out again. Next we're taking a lighter brown from that same palette and same pencil brush, and yep, placing that in the outer V and blending it out. And that's just me checking out what I've done, making sure it's all even. Then I'm just deepening that colour and lightly blending it out. a different palette for my lid colour but you could easily use one of the light shimmery colours from the BH palette. There are mixed reviews about this foundation but personally I love it. It's very lightweight and replicates flawless skin. Coverage can go from sheer to full just by adding an extra layer and it also looks fabulous on camera if you're going out and being photographed. Hey! I'm just lightly setting it with a translucent loose powder. Today I'm highlighting the middle high points of my face with a powder only. I've recently fell in love with using a powder two shades lighter than my foundation for highlighting. I'm a safe foundation because let's be honest, my skin tone is probably the same colour as the light powder anyways, but I love highlighting with a powder because it just doesn't crease. <laughs> Next, I'm contouring the outer sides of my face to give my cheekbones life. This brush is seriously the best for contouring. The edge can create those sharp contour lines and the middle can blend it all out. 
To create that smoky effect under the eye, I'm putting that lighter brown from that same BH palette really close to the lash line. Then I'm just adding that darker brown to the outer part of the lower lash line. I'm just adding a bit of inner corner highlight to brighten the eyes. For blush, I'm using this shimmer brick in bronze and swirling my brush in all the colours. Then I'm popping on my favourite brand of lashes, Velour. These are the You Complete Me style. These lashes are longer and thicker towards the end, so they create a winged out effect. Also, they are shorter in length, so they are quite natural looking. Perfect for brides. Because these lashes are on their way out, I'm applying mascara after. I would usually do it before to preserve the life of your Velour Mink Lashes. I'm lining my lips with a nude brown because I was going to do a nude lip but typical Amy opts for a dark lip. So I picked up the lip paint in Salem because I haven't worn it in a while. It really complements the eyes but a nude lip would have gone really well as well. look I hope you guys liked it don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching